Hello, my name is Justin Headley with Quantronics. This is the Cubiscan 125. It is. It uses three ultrasonic sensors to measure boxes. You can see here they're they're about the size of a of a deck of cards. It basically emits a sound wave, and as that sound wave travels, it's looking for the side of a box to reflect off of, and in essence, it calculates the uh, the echo. If you put a box on here, just for illustration purposes. We'll put a, a large box, simply press the, the measure button, it will, it emits a sound wave, as I mentioned, it the sound wave returns back to the sensor and it calculates the echo. It also has a built-in load cell that will capture a, the weight of a box up to 50 pounds. As you can see, this box is 20 by 20 by 20 and weighs 2.1 pounds. What's really nice about the Cubiscan 125 is that it also has the capacity and the technology to measure irregular items. This is one of the greatest selling points of the Cubiscan 125 because it, uh, before you would have to use uh, other techniques to measure odd shapes on our old Cubiscan 100 which will measure irregulars as well but with the 125 it will be accurate up to five one hundredths of an inch and five one thousandths of a pound as far as measuring irregulars. And this gate here that you see with the handle, this is the part that has built-in infrared diodes that will allow you to measure irregular items up to 18 inches in length, 18 inches in width, and up to 12 inches in height with a 50 pound weight capacity. As you see here, uh, for, for example, anything almost within reason, this, uh, as, long as, that, as long as the particular item will fit on this glass platter, uh, the Cubiscan 125 will be able to, to measure these particular items. Here is an article of clothing. Uh, normally, in typical warehouse applications, these article of clothing will be in some sort of, of plastic bag in a squared shape, but this item is loose and however you set it on the Cubiscan, it is going to find the longest length, width, and height of, of the particular article. But basically, in this type of configuration, again, you want to grab the gate, manually slide it over the article, and return back to the other side, giving it the longest length, width, and height of the particular item. If we do a, another measurement, you will, that was, for example, this is the, a leather jacket. Again, you want to fold it in. If it's not already, again, if it's not already in the plastic bag, you want to fold it in a good, firm area. It doesn't need to go in the corner. Something like that would be sufficient. Grab the side of the gate, pass it over the item, and again, it will tell you the longest uh, part of, of that particular item, the length, the width, the height, and the weight. And we have one other article that we would like to, to measure, some pants. And again, just for illustration purposes, we'll stick this, this little uh, tag out just to illustrate that it will be able to see that item. And then back to its original position. It only takes a, a second or two to measure. But as you can see here, it actually saw that, that fabric tag sticking out. Um, and in, in essence, you would ideally like to tuck that tag in uh, to measure these things. This is this will give you a good idea of some of the capacities for the Cubiscan 125. It will measure a case up to two feet by two feet and three feet in height and any irregular item up to 18 inches by 18 by 12. Thank you for your interest in the Cubiscan 125 and I'd also like to show you a few things about the, the software uh, which this is the software program that will be able to collect and utilize your Cuban weight data, uh, you can import your existing master database file, dump it into our Cubit software program, which will collect it, and then you can then 
uh, later export that Cuban weight data into something as simple as an Excel spreadsheet or your uh, third-party warehouse management system. Again, thank you very much, uh, and please let us know if you have any questions.